People are not paying you for the product you have. They are paying you for the service they get. For service. That's what they are paying for. Until you understand that the people are what you need. How to manage them. How to ensure that they get the product or the service they are paying for. You are not going to get money. I came here to this event. I've been hunting at this door. No guard to open this gate. No guard. And I asked myself a question. If I came to this hall now and assassinated everybody, how come we did not plan security to check the risk assessment of this place first before using it? I've said it before that 99% is failure. It's that 1% that you forgot. Pareto's principle says 20% of your investment brings 80% of your result. How do you get your work done? Until it is something that you are ready to give up all you have. You have not started. And I'm going to be, and, and, and if you are going to be successful this year, you have to become obsessed with winning. You have to. You cannot be 99% interested in the job it's 100 percent or forget it forget it totally totally my success is not that i'm the best in this industry i am the most obsessed in any industry i put my head to do any business i enter i die in that business 99 percent will not meet me there it's 185 i will dash with the remaining 85 if I have a meeting by 11.30 at night, I'm there. If I have to sleep in my car, I'm there. I don't give myself excuses for failure. My wife will be at home. I'll call her. i say I love you. But look, if you don't win, there's no money in your house. You are depending on salary. Salary means nothing. It's bagash. Until you take ownership of your company, of that unit, take ownership. You have not started this business. Your failure or your success is tied to your mind, not your size. And let me tell you something. By 7.30, the sun would have gone down. By 7 a.m. tomorrow, the sun will come up. The sun is not waiting for you. Time is not waiting for you. If you don't give your best now, you'll be an entertainment tool in the next future next future. So you need to take success as a pattern. You must not close a day without succeeding that day. You must succeed at your KPI that day, whether you like it or yes. I'm a ruthless winner for whatever God has put into my hand. Ruthless. I get knocks and injuries left, right, and center, but I refuse to give up. Hard work will never kill you. It will stress you, but will never kill you. If you want to win tomorrow, change the way you were doing things yesterday and start a new leaf today. How many of you would like to be successful in life? Very successful and have a name that your children will be forever grateful for. How many of you? If you are going to win tomorrow, there are three very important things. Your customers, opportunities, and products. You have products. You know there are customers, but no opportunities. You don't have a business because this is the business triangle. You have the opportunity. You have products but no customers, you don't have a business. You have customers, you have the opportunities, but you don't have products, you don't have a business. If you are ever going to have a business triangle, you need products, you need customers, you need opportunities together. In this session, all I intend to do is just show you how to enter different places, penetrate certain markets, enter into things that you are supposed to do, and then take over the market. I don't know about you, but I remember that you need certain people in your life, and that's a stranger. 
You need a stranger to talk to you. You need to talk to strangers. When we're growing up, they will tell you things like this. That if you talk to a stranger, they will turn you to Agbalumo. They will turn you to Yam. They will sell you for ritual. They've told many of us that. But if you are going to succeed, it is not your mother that has the keys to your house. It is not your father that has the money you are you going to use to build your house. That money is in the hand of a stranger. So you need to know, how do you penetrate these people? If our business is succeeding or is standing, it's because we are talking to strangers. It is strangers that are paying our fees. It is strangers that we are talking to. So the more strangers we can access, the more strangers we can talk to, the better for us. People means money. If you don't have the people, you don't have money. Strangers carry your money. So when you see somebody, look at that man as carrying $3 million. That should be enough encouragement to talk to the man. Until you see the man or the woman like that, you will not move. Money follows the attention you can create and follow it. You need to. You need to talk to strangers. Every day you are meeting different strangers. Everybody you meet is money. And I've told you, the formation is customers, products, and opportunities. And that customer is stranger. So there are certain laws, like I did one now here. A stranger is a person who is unknown to another person or group. Because this unknown status, the stranger may be perceived as a threat until the identity or character is ascertained. That's where a stranger is. When I went to secondary school, my lecturers were strangers. But after <laughs> one, st one term with them, there were no more strangers. Ah, Igwe, how far? Why did what's up? All of you here, by the time we all met, all of you were strangers. But now we are family. All of you. So the person holding your money is a stranger, but you need to follow that person up. This one, I went to buy a computer. Now, me and him, we are, talk, we are stuck together. <laughs> the first law for me, the first law, is endeavor to feed the stranger, him or her's ego, rather than to start with greeting, general greeting first. A lot of times, when you travel, when you go for meetings, when you go for parties, when you go for burials, it is important that those are where you meet people. And you have to have a social life to grow your economical life. Your economical life is tied to your social life. Because people means money. When you meet somebody, rather than to go to the person and say, ah, good morning, sir, how are you doing? Wrong penetration strategy. The first thing I do is, if I see like Hiroko now, I look for what is important to him. So you must look at the person before you make your first statement. And I'll go to Hiroko and I'll tell you, look, ah, sir, man, I love your wristwatch. If I tell Iroko that, what do you think will happen to Iroko? He'll smile. See the bag of See? Now, what I've done is I have not told him that I like his wristwatch. What I told him, which you did not hear, is I agree with your decision to wear your wristwatch. So I have fed his ego why he wore that wristwatch. Oga, that decision was good. Immediately I do that, I break his guard. And I tell people, a lot of you have seen it, those of you that are close to me, you know what I do. If I enter a plane or go to anywhere, I say, ah, especially plane, I tell the person, whoever enters to sit beside me, I say, sir, I love your shoes. Amen. I love those shoes. It will smile. Thank you very much. If they were my size, I will take it. Once the man has talked two times, ah, voila. That's all. Once the plane takes off, takes off, takes off. <laughs> I know the man cannot, cannot talk on phone. What I do is say, sir, can you teach me one thing that will help me in this life? The man will say, you know, just be. I say, I'm a young man. 
And I tell him, look, I don't have a father anymore. I need someone to teach me values in life. Even if I went to school, there are things you can teach me. Once the man says, okay, learn to be, you know, have good friends, I carry my journal, carry my barrel, open, and I begin to take notes. The minute the person sees me taking notes of what he's saying, pride will enter the person's head. Once pride begins, the man is dead. Straight. As it is entering his head, the next thing I do is I begin to shout, ah, fantastic, oh, this is incredible. The man will begin to feel important, feel important that what he's saying is making sense. I say, if you talk like this, Nigeria will be better. People like you are people that we need to improve the country, to improve the society. As I'm telling him, and the man is talking to me like I'm writing down. Then I tell him, sir, periodically, can I, can I quote you all? He says, yes, go ahead. I bring out my complimentary card and I give it to him. The minute the man sees that he will give me his own, once I collect that card, the man is dead on arrival. Because mainly I collect it 10 minutes after, not later than 10 minutes, because you are still fresh in his mind. I will send a text. It was a privilege sitting beside you, and I'm honored to have learned from you. Thank you very much, sir. The person will reply. Once he replies, mistake number two, because he has confirmed his number. Once the person has confirmed his number, I keep quiet like that. I'll tell him, sir, a son honors a father, a, a, a servant, a master. If you're my master, let me honor you. The next thing I do, I send a goat or a cow. I don't send hamper. I don't send hamper. I send a goat or a cow. Once I send that goat or a cow, it causes attention everywhere. The children look at it. I say, Daddy, there's a goat in the house. Daddy, there's a goat in the house. Daddy, there's a goat in the house. Or mommy, they say, okay, kill the goat. Let's do pepper soup. They do pepper soup. The wife will ask him, honey, what exactly did you do to this young man to make him buy you a goat? The minute your name enters bedroom, approval is waiting in the boardroom. Straight. So you must find an entry point. It doesn't have to be a goat or a cow, but you have to look for something to break the ice. Profile your targets very well and then break that ice. Break it. Number two is use the submit strategy to dominate the relationship. It shows the entry point into the stranger. Sometimes when you go into any meeting like this, you know what is right. Somebody begins to talk with all his mouth. I let the person talk. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. We do it a lot, especially when it comes to people that have to give us our approvals and authorities. Navy, when they are talking, we'll keep quiet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We know. Always use the submit strategy. Never counter. Never fight back. Because the minute you fight back, they're coming for you. They're coming for you. Make your case clear, but you know, yes, sir. Submit, yes, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Once you do that, you have entered the person. He's ready to talk to you more. Ready to talk to you more. Because he believes you are listening to him. Number three, ethical bribes break defenses. It lures the, stra lure the stranger with a valuable gift or more. This is a very interesting one. Now, when I remember I used the word ethical. I did not say bribe. Ethical. Ethical means that if you go to the suya man now, a lot of you eat suya. Some of you have eaten suya here. When you go to the suya man, what does, what's the first thing the suya man will do to you? It will give you a taste. Give a taste. When, the, when you taste that suya, what happens next? You can't go. It will hook you. You must find a way. How do you do something for the man? Ethically, so you go to the airport, I'll provide service for you. Don't worry about it. It's, it's on the house. We'll do it for you. You must find a way. You must find a way. If you want to penetrate certain guys, you say, oh, God, look. Fine, you know the man will give you the, the business is looking progressive. So, oh, God, look. I can give you two guards. I'll pay for one. You pay for the other. And defend it. Before you know, the man will give you 400 guards because of that one ethical bribe. A lot of us in maritime, they give you uh, what they call that thing, intelligence. That is happening in the Gulf of Guinea, give Gulf of Guinea, Gulf of Guinea. What it does is that the more they eat on it, the more they want you. And once they get you, it's converted to money. You must find out what you can give for them that will add value to them at no cost or at minimal cost, but will ensure it will attract them to come to you. Once you do that, you have broken the ice. You need to break that ice. Because you're in a market, and it is either you take over the market or you become the next market others will take.
You need to do that. Let the stranger keep on talking while you invest in listening time. This will build trust for you. If the man is talking, let him talk. Talk! There are people that are just asked for Africa. They can just for the whole of Africa. They can just. They can just. They can tell you everything. I have a friend called Stephen Phelps. Ha! When Stephen begins to talk like this, so, Kai, I just pin down. <laughs> Pete, you know Stephen. <laughs> Stephen can talk for Africa. But you know when Stephen knows that he can talk to you, you become his friend. If you begin to contest with Stephen too much, he will not listen to you. He will go. And then you lose a valuable relationship. And I'm not talking only to external customers, but also internal customers. Internal customers. Give your internal staff value. Give the man something interesting. Yes, you give them birthday cakes. Have you thought of greeting their wife? Going to visit their wife? Madam, how are you today? Eh? You need to be strategic. Make a defense. Buy wrapper for the wife. Go and give madam. Because if you don't do that, when the boy comes back late from work and the wife says, is it the work you're working for? She'll tell you leave. When you make the spouse happy, it's easy. If we are going to win, penetrate the back end. And I'm going to go there. Build trust in that person. So let the stranger keep on talking. There are some people that will abuse Ubon King anywhere you go. Let them abuse Ubon King. You'll break the eyes. Send a personalized handwritten note or card for little things. The stranger will cherish it more. And I beg you. You are leaders. You have subordinates working under you. I remember that sometimes, I think a number of you have seen it. I'll just go and buy card, 3,000 naira. 3,000. Value. 15 card, maybe. So that is 200 naira. And I write a personalized note to you. I say, thank you for being a part of this success. It is more important than the salary you get. It will touch you. It, it will touch you. Everybody wants to feel important. Make them feel important. When you make your colleagues or subordinates or your spouse feel important, they are ready to die for you. Ready to die for you. Your wife or your husband or your, or your whatever, send a note, honey, thank you for tolerating me. I know I've not been the best in the last few days, but you're the one that adds value to me, simple. My wife, I'll just buy a cake, 4,000 naira. On that cake, I say, because today is Tuesday. I would not say because it's her birthday. Send them a thank you card. And I need you to practice it today. Your spouses, your uncle, your father, your mother. Send, just buy a card, 400 naira. Buy two. You don't need to buy a card of 3,000 naira. Buy a cheap card. It is what you write in it. It makes it personal. It makes it personal. When you send it, everybody's happy. And it works like magic. It works like magic. Some of you that have seen my card, you know what effect it has on you. The card is only 200 now. Only 200 now. But the fact that I wrote it to you, to you, touches you. And if you stay too far from them, everything they do to you is official. You don't need official at this level. I know you have mobile phone. You can say, honey, thank you, my friend, thank you. Please send a card to your wife. Right. Honey, thank you for tolerating me. Even this bushy hair. I know that you are going through a lot. So just send that. Go and trim it. Make it nice. Make it very nice. Decent. Don't look like Mongo Park. I'm begging you. I know you want to have bearded gum, but cut it well. Let it look nice. Please. If I see this kind of beard beard again, I'll kill you. Trim it well. I'll be. Coach him. Uh -huh. Coach him. Anybody you want to target, go and read about the person. Where? So sometimes, if you look, target the person. Target the person and go for him. Let him feel a sense of accomplishment. If you see the person at the airport, see him anywhere at a function, quickly Google the person. Find out what the person I just said, his Twitter handle, what he had just posted, or his Instagram or Facebook. Quickly look at it, then enter the person immediately. You need to penetrate these people. People means money. That stranger has your money and the key to your property. Take him or her seriously. Somebody shouldn't complain about something and then you just say, ah, it's somebody's business. No, take him or her seriously. And in short, if you are the first person to hear, revert back to the person.
with that back personally. Or else I've spoken to him. Now look at it, the MD will call you or the, the departmental head. I spoke to my MD about it and he said he'll give you a call. Then call. The fact that he knows that there's a follow through, he'll be excited. Accidents happen, things happen. But what you do about it is what is critical.